Next on Wood Songs, we're celebrating the music of the Ozarks from Eureka Springs, Arkansas, with special guest Leroy Troy and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band. I'm going in the morning, you bet I'm homeward bound. Done spent all my money, I'm going to leave this town. Well, ain't kind of hungry, there's nothing in my crawl. I'm going back to my little cookie ball in North Arkansas. The following is a double broadcast special event of Wood Songs celebrating the music of Eureka Springs and the Ozarks. Airing worldwide on over 500 radio stations in almost 200 countries and public television coast to coast. Recorded live from the historic auditorium in Eureka Springs. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is Hank Williams. The best in from the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hugger, Michael Jonathan. So nice to be here in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. What a beautiful hometown you all have. And it's nice to be here. The Wood Songs crew came in from Lexington, Kentucky. And we're gonna turn the stage of the beautiful auditorium in your hometown into a global front porch. Sitting on a creaky old rocking chair. They say it's gonna rain, but we don't care. I'm dancing with you all afternoon on the front porch with me. Waving to my neighbor as they're passing by, cooking up some chicken, bacon, apple pie. A pretty as a rainbow in the sky when you're on the front porch with me. Listen to the rhythm of a summer rain Typing out a tempo on my window pane Nothing like summer on a front porch swing Making my banjo ring I'm playing my banjo in a rocking chair You can play your snare drum in your underwear A Pretty as a rainbow in your hair When you're on the front porch with me Ozark Alliance. Listen to the rhythm of a summer rain, tapping out a tempo on my window pane. Nothing like summer on a front porch swing Making my banjo ring I'm playing my banjo in a rocking chair They say it's gonna rain, but we don't care I'm dancing with you all afternoon On the front porch with me When you're on the front porch with me When you're on the front porch And welcome to the historic auditorium in beautiful 
Eureka Springs, Arkansas. It's so nice to be here for our broadcast. You've got a wonderful hometown. Like I said there at the, at the opening, we've been enjoying the, the, the beauty and the, the music and the people of Eureka Springs. It's, it's so great to see here and be part of this wonderful uh, Ozark Folk Festival. It's the longest running folk festival in North America and it's right here in your hometown. And it's a musical town. It's also uh, the, the home of the world's biggest uh, tuned harp. We were recently in, uh, in Dublin, Ireland, and they've got this huge harp as a bridge, but yours is actually tuned, unlike, uh, for example, uh, banjos that uh, actually are tuned. Plus, we, uh, plus we are uh, uh, able to, on this broadcast, present the beautiful breadth of music from across the Ozark Mountains. And, and here we have a, a wonderful player that is going to be playing a, a, an old time banjo. Just imagine that we're on a front porch, front porch, but we're around the world. And all across the Ozarks, this music was, was born and it traveled around and we get to celebrate it on this particular show with all kinds of uh, great musicians that uh, will be here to, to present music for the entire hour. Let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of Allison Williams playing her banjo on our stage. Allison Williams on the open back banjo. She'll be back in the second half hour. Right now, we're going to get a little bit of hardcore with that old-timey sound. This is an award-winning banjo player. He's got a spectacular band with him. He was one of the stars of Hee Haw. He's one of the most uh, renowned of the old-timey banjo players in the world. They call him the Tennessee Slicker from uh, the great place of Nashville, Tennessee. He came all the way to Eureka Springs to be with us to present this kind of music. He's got this album called The Old Gray Mare. This is a tune off that album called Bald Knob, Arkansas. Please welcome... Leroy Troy and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band. Okay. 
The incredible Leroy Troy and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band. Wasn't Dan Kelly cool on that fiddle? Boy, he was hot. Doing a good job. Mike Armistead on guitar and Ernie Sir Cecil Stikes on the upright bass in the back with the rag on his head. <laughs> Lonesome Lester Armistead Bear playing the jug. Of course, you gotta play the jug. And Mike Spider Man Webb on the dobro. Let's say hi to Leroy. Why don't you come on up to the mic? So, Leroy, you're, uh, we're gonna go take that microphone over there, buddy. Oh, yeah. There's so many, I don't know which one to take. Yeah, well, it's complicated. It takes a lot of wires to do an acoustic radio show. You know, oh, this crew is really on it. You ain't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, your, your influences, when you were a kid, I mean, like, I'm guessing, like, Uncle Dave Macon from the Grand Ole Opry, you're playing this open back style banjo, and in the second half hour, you're going to be showing us a little bit of fireworks with it. I'm going to try. Yeah, now, was that, the, was that some of your ins inspiration when you were a kid, trying to learn the banjo? Yes, it was. My, I guess my biggest inspiration was Earl Scruggs, because mm. I heard his music when I was a child and loved it, and uh, I also loved Hank Snow and Jimmy Rogers, Johnny and Jack. Now, Earl Scruggs, of course, became famous for the th uh, th you know two-fingered style uh, yeah. banjo picking. But you're sure. playing you're playing frailing. So yeah. I want I want the audience to understand that what they're hearing is you are an expert at the uh, frailing of the banjo. Well, I figure that it, if you can play the thing, that you're instantly an expert. <laughs> 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 Once you get that lick, there ain't no going back. No. <laughs> no. Well, how long did it take you to get the, 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 the frailing style on the right hand, to get that pattern down? Oh, Everyone. shucks, I don't know. Uh, this uh, man that used to go to the, uh, he used to set up at the Nashville flea market, mm -hmm. and he sold old junk banjos and guitars and stuff. His name was Peanuts, but he, uh, he played the banjo, too, and when he wasn't busy, he'd sit down and play, play that thing, and one day I asked him if he would show me that lick, and he did, and I went home. I don't know. I worked on it for a couple of weeks, and I got it down. Did you ever imagine you were going to make a career out of that? You were going to make a career out of what you were doing there in your house for two weeks? Well, I, I may. I'm Still working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I think that when I was a kid? Yeah. Well, no. Uh -uh. I uh, just done it because I liked it. Well, there's a, reason, <laughs> there's a reason folk rhymes with broke. So, I mean, you go into this world... <laughs> You're right there, brother. Making tens and tens of dollars as a, as a banjo player. Yeah. Uh, so. I've, I've made my tens. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get back into this wonderful music. We're going to get into an album of yours called Poor Leroy's Almanac. And you put the banjo down, you're playing a ukulele. What's that about? Well, it's, uh, it's I need a break sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a great old song on that album. It's called The Wabash Cannonball. It's Leroy Troy and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band. Please come. 
From their CD Poor, Leroy's Almanac, Leroy Troy and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona to the Yukon in northern Canada. Wood Songs is broadcasting all over the world. If you want to know more about Leroy Troy and uh, all the artists that you're hearing on this broadcast, you can just visit our website, woodsongs.com. And this is show number 737. Just go to the archive page at woodsongs.com. We'll let you know everything you need to know, as well as the young lady that we're about to uh, talk to now. Let's say hi to uh, Clancy Ferguson. Hello. So Clancy, you're, you're, you're about 15 years old, right? Yes, sir. You're 15 years old and you, you play the fiddle. And how old were you when you started playing the fiddle? I was five years old. Five years old, and so you're like an old pro now. You're playing for a decade. <laughs> <laughs> so was this something that was in your family? Did you have a grandpa or a mom or I, dad? I don't have any family that uh, plays music except for a distant cousin um, that plays in our hometown of Mountain View. And um, I started actually wanting to play the fiddle when I was two years old from watching the Dixie Chicks on the Country Music Awards. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, if, if uh, Rhonda Vincent is referred to as the queen of bluegrass, you're being called now the princess of bluegrass, so you're getting a good reputation. So is, some, is bluegrass uh, something that uh, you get to play in your hometown of Mountain View? Because there's an awful lot of wonderful musicians in your hometown. I've been to Mountain View. It's a beautiful place. There is. There's a whole lot of uh, folk and old-time musicians in Mountain View, but uh, bluegrass is starting to make a comeback in the area. And um, so I'm real excited to be a part of that genre. Okay, so you're here with an acoustic guitar player, a Dylan Barber, right? He's a friend yes, of yours that can play acoustic guitar as you play this fiddle. And you picked a really neat old-timey song. Why did you pick this one? Well, I just love playing this tune. It's really fun, and um, I've kind of worked out a cool arrangement to it, so. Okay. Well, we're celebrating the music of the Ozarks here in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We've got a song called Bill Cheatham about to play by 15-year-old Clancy Ferguson on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs>
We are celebrating music from across the Ozarks here in beautiful Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Our next group up are hometown musicians right here in Eureka Springs. And we saw, we saw a video clip of these guys and we were like, holy cow. We need to invite them on the show. If uh, I was looking at the video clip and I was like, I was thinking, how do you describe these to a radio audience? Because, okay, so, so I want you to picture in your mind, if the soggy bottom boys from Old Brother Where Art Thou went on a date with the Duck Dynasty. <laughs> you've got Mountain Sprout. Let's say hi to Grayson Van Sickle on the banjo. Hello. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the song that we all agreed we thought you should, you should play tonight. It's, it's a, it has to do with a, a, a hardware store and your view of uh, the tax collection system. Pretty much, yeah, it's, a, you know, it's called a Screw the Government. Yeah, hardware store. <laughs> it's popular sometimes with everybody. At one time or another, everybody wants to say that. Yeah. And, and you put that, uh, that, uh, that, that deep-seated emotion in a really cool song that lasts about three minutes, right? And uh, it's, it's sort of about your view of the banking system. Should we put it that way? Indeed. How would you explain this What song? I would like to say is about this song is I uh, pretty much wrote it as in, uh, it's not so much screw the government, it's uh, more... Uh, do for yourself. Don't expect uh, anybody to do anything for you. Mm -hmm. You know. So you're, you. The song is encouraging individual responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Pretty much what it means. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and listen to the song. It's really cool. It's uh, it's about the government, but it's about. It's performed by Eureka Springs musical heroes Mountain Sprout on the Woods songs. Old time radio. I fly way below the 
radar. And I won't get into your business if you don't get into mine. And in all my years, that ain't wasting time. Cause I got bills to pay, kids to raise, money already spent. I do what I gotta do to get by. Screw the government. Man, screw the government. Mountain Sprout, Blaine Tebow on the fiddle, Grayson Van Sickle on banjo, Chuck Wags on acoustic guitar, Dan Redman on upright bass, and Ratliff Dean Tebow as well. What a great band. We've got more music and conversation to come in the second half hour, as well as more from Leroy Troy and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band. We'll be back right after this. This is Michael Martin Murphy, and you're listening to Michael Jonathan in the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And thank you, Mr. Michael Martin Murphy, who's going to be here in Eureka Springs with us. Welcome, everybody. We're broadcasting from the beautiful auditorium, a grand old theater here in, uh, in Arkansas as we're celebrating the music of uh, the Ozarks all around the country. We're broadcasting on over 500 radio stations around the world, including great stations like KUAF in Fayetteville, Arkansas, KASU in Jonesboro, KUAR in Little Rock, Arkansas, plus 500 other cities around the world. We're also on American Forces Radio Network, broadcasting in 173 nations, every military base, every U.S. naval ship at sea, and we want to say hello to all the men and women that are tuning in out there. You're reaching back into a wonderful song by the uh, legendary John Hartford to perform for us. It's called Julia Bell, but it's the Ozark Alliance on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. Julius Lane is my 
So Ozark Alliance Family Group, single mic champions. The legacy and history, the rich tapestry of music from across the Ozarks can very, be very, very inspiring to lots of musicians. We want to welcome uh, one of those musicians that was inspired by this music to actually change the style of music she was playing. Let's welcome Allison Williams back to the stage. Hey, y'all. Nice to be here. Thanks. So, Allison, you, your musical history, you sort of started uh, as a uh, punk rocker. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I grew up with old time and bluegrass around me and folk, and uh, I wanted to do just the opposite. So you you just went on your own thing and and I went, did. Went I did. Kind of hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> I played bass and drums. In a punk rock band. Oh yeah, played at nine two four Gilman all over the country. Now what pull, what pulled you back into the because uh, you're here with an open back banjo. You're a wonderful frailing banjo player. To be honest, it was uh, Woody Guthrie mm. and uh, the fact that I got tired of hauling a drum kit. <laughs> it's less work to, to pull the banjo around, right? Yeah, I was looking for something that was, you know, very punk rock, very hardcore, very, very political, very uh, passionate, um, that didn't involve electricity. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, discovered, um, I discovered Woody Guthrie, and from there I discovered the roots of that music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Well, you uh, in the North Carolina mountains, and you're studying the Appalachian music. And what, what pulled you into the Ozark area? What pu pulled well, you into Arkansas? I was born in Fayetteville. I was born in the mountains, um, and you know, I, I I was traveling around. I was playing with a group out in North Carolina and learning stuff out there. And um, every time I would come home, uh, there it's old time music's just a little different here. I mean, every region is a little different, um, and there was just something real special about it here. Um, and there's there's some great Ozark musicians here this weekend. Um, proud to proud to share a stage with them. Proud to get to play with them. Well, we're glad that you're here too. And and you just to mention you even in Fayetteville you have a little uh, old time vintage music store that I people do. can visit, right? Yeah, Maybell Music. And you have a solo CD called "Give Me the Roses." This is a tune called "Wild Bill Jones." It's Allison Williams on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio. <laughs> Just to walk about, I came upon my wild Bill Jones. He was walking out, talking by my true love side. I told him leave her alone. Well, he said my age it is twenty one, too old to be controlled. I drew my revolver from my side and I destroyed that poor boy's soul. And his pass around that lonely bar land We'll all go out on the spree yeah, for today was the last Wild Bill Jones and Marby the last of me
Her CD is called Give Me the Roses from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Allison Williams on her open back banjo. Well, we can't come into the Ozark area without dipping into the blues, and we have here the son of the great Junior Kimbrough. Please welcome David Kimbrough III to the stage. David. Now, David, you're, you, you have a history of being around the blues a lot, right? You play all kinds of different instruments. I play about nine different instruments. And you have on your lap the, the mountain lap dulcimer, a standard Gene Ritchie style dulcimer, right? That's right. And you're going to play some pretty hardcore blues on it. Yeah, something I created myself um, after moving to Fayetteville up in the mountains, I call it. I call mm -hmm. it the mountain dulcimer blues, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I mean, playing... Uh, you know, folks would think of the blues, they're going to think of, you know, playing the harmonica or, or, or the guitar or, you know, maybe the piano and stuff like that. You're playing a dulcimer, uh -huh. a, a normal, and you got it plugged into an amp. Yeah, it's electrified. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, to make a long story short, I um, was calling, looking around for a dulcimer, and Luckily, my manager said, now Barbara, she said that she would take me up to a place called Mountain View. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting around the house and the road manager found an article uh, talking about the Dawsoners from Mountain View. And I called up there and the lady said, uh, what color are you? <laughs> I, said, I'm, I said, I'm black. She said, let me hear you play something on that Dawsoner. I had a little wooden Dawsoner, you know, handmade. And I played a song and I noticed she told me, she said, hold on for one moment. Um, she said, play that again. So she recorded it. And she said, hang up for a minute. I'll call you back in 10 minutes. She turned it on for everybody in the Dawsonville shop at Mountain View. And they all were dancing around the shop. <laughs> and she called me back and said, I'll tell you what, David. Um, we'll endorse you a Dawsonville if you come up here and headline our Dawsonville show well. in Mountain View. So that's how I ended up with this Dawsonville. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's playing in his lap a normal McSpadden style uh, lap dulcimer, the same kind that you see all around the Appalachian Mountains. He's got an album called Oh Baby Please Listen to the Blues on the Lap Dulcimer. The tune is called When I First Start Singing the Blues. It's the wonderful David Kimbrough III on the Wood Songs, old time radio. <laughs> I start singing the blue when I was a little boy. Singing with my dad at home out on the front porch. Growing up fast, y'all thought I was a little man. Papa said, slow your road, hadn't went through anything, but I had the blues, y'all. It been running all through my bone. I had the blue y'all dog. It all started right there at home. I was getting old, walking them pop tracks. Trying to learn what I could before he left me like that. It's sad, sad to say, he left this world too soon. On his dying bed, I was right there in his room, but I had the blues, y'all. Every running all through my bones. I've had the blue, y'all know. It all started right there at home.
Thank you. Hard rock dulcimer music. It's the blues by David Kimbrough the third. Well, when we're talking about uh, uh, the imagery of the Ozarks, of course the banjo is a prominent part of that because that's part of the legacy of the area, and we love that. We've got the king of the open back banjo on our stage right now. He was uh, uh, one of the featured members of Hee Haw, of course, and he heads up the, uh, the, the wonderful band that we're going to hear right after this, but I want him to show the uh, athleticism that can come with playing the open back banjo. He's going to dip into a Leonard Skinner song and play Mississippi Kid. Please welcome Leroy Troy to That's the Wood right. Songs, old time radio. This is the rock and roll portion of the show here. Just for you, Michael. <laughs> I'll see what I can do with it. Got my pistols in my pocket, boys. I'm on Alabama bound. Got my pistols in my pocket, boys, I'm, I'm Alabama bound. I ain't looking for no trouble, but nobody dogs me around. When I go to fetch my woman, people try to see this, here I come. My woman, people, try cities, here I come. She was raised up on that cornbread, and I know she's gonna fix me some. Got my pistols in my pocket, boys, I'm a Alabama. Got my pistols in my pocket, boys, I'm a That's the great Leroy Troy, and and Leroy, let's uh, let, I want to ask you a question real quick. I mean, for the for the for the, let's go ahead and bend that mic down to him. There you go. Thanks, so so for the radio audience that didn't see that, you're sitting there spinning the banjo around and 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 cutting monkey shines as they say on on that thing, and yeah. never breaking tempo. You it's great, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I've slowed down a lot, but I'm still moving. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now you've uh, you've strapped on a uh, a shoulder harness, and you've yeah. you've got uh, strapped in front of you here an, an interesting contraption. Just explain really quick what we've got here. More work for poor old Leroy. Oh. Okay, it's a scrub, uh, it's scrub board, this, a washboard. This is an old timey washing machine, so to speak. And it's got all kind of gadgets over it that's really heavy, so I can only uh, keep it on for so long. But yeah, it's got horns and a cymbal and and a tambourine and bells and whistles and um, and uh, anyhow, you about ready to do this? Yeah, uh, I, I could tell it's starting to get heavy. <laughs> What a great way to end the first broadcast here in Eureka Springs. The song is called Cut Down the Old Pine Tree. It's Leroy Troy, his scrub board, and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> well, what did they do with the chips that flew when they cut down the old pine tree? Did they pick them up or just let them lay? Wasn't it great having Leroy Troy and the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band on our show here in the beautiful auditorium in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, as well as Allison Williams, David Kimbrough III, the Ozark Alliance, Clancy Ferguson, and Mountain Sprout. What a good show. You guys were a great audience. The wonderful artist Picasso was thinking of his work and the work of other artists around him. And he, can, he, he thought, how do I sum up the passion, the spirit, the delivery, the work, the angst of all this art, no matter what kind of art it is? What is the point when you just condense it all down into one sentence? And Picasso said, the greatest obstacle to creativity is good taste. When you look at the wonderful artists around you in your hometowns, not just here in the Ozarks, but I'm talking about College Station, Texas. I'm talking about Australia and Ireland and Boston. There's wonderful artists everywhere that are trying to do their own thing, to create from their heart. The finest thing that you can do as an audience is to stop for a moment to listen 
to give the artist a chance to breathe. It's a great gift that only the audience can give to every artist, and we're very grateful that you gave it to these artists from around the, art, the Ozarks tonight. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a log cabin dweller, and we'll see you next week on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Good night. You've been listening to Wood Songs broadcast number 737. Michael's opening song was Front Porch Swing from the Front Porch CD featuring Melissa Deaton on vocals and the Ozark Alliance. Our chief engineer, engineer is Jerome Galt. Technical assistants are Brian Causing, Eric Anderson, and Ryan Zinka. Thank you for tuning in. There are so many talented artists that appear on our stage. It's very hard sometimes to pick the ones that appear on our TV broadcast. So what we're going to do is leave you with a performance from our huge online archive of past shows. We'll see you next time on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Go on ahead and go home. Closed captioning provided by the Deering Banjo Company. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833. Online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky, online at visitlex.com by Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music, online at folk-book.com. And by Time Warner Cable, providing cable, telephone, and internet service.